YouTubers. Not done a video for a while, so I thought I'd do one on the green thing. Just a, an old off-roader built about eight years ago now. Um, I just got a donor uh, 300 TDI Disco. Uh, it's just a rough thing. I bought it for 400 quid. Just for the engine and gearbox, it was like some tray back someone had built. Looked like someone had built a climbing frame on the back of it. Proper rough. I'll see if there's any photos dig out. I'll put them on this. Uh, so that was just a donor for the engine and gearbox and then they had an old 300 TDI proper rough chassis that was all rotten out uh, chopped that up and then uh, just had a series rear cross member welded that on and uh, it just intended to make it just a rough off-roader really you know what I mean so and that's what it is so but yeah it's, it's done all right over the years so yeah I just thought I'd do a walk through of that so that's it it's uh, just uh, on a three inch lift it's a uh, series front end running 300 TDI like I say uh, just get something to open the bonnet with pop you down there a minute yep just an old disco 300 TDI um, just with R380 gearbox uh, it's a bit close on the front but it fits in just a standard fan which i've just flipped around so it's not too close to the radiator just nice and simple really um one winch just in case it gets stuck um and then it's running some fed image sirocco's with an inch offset modulars on 16s um three inch lift uh i've cranked just some standard set of arms some radius arms, I just cranked them there myself. Got gas axe on them, you know what I mean? Oxy settling, got them red hot. Big scaff bar and that, wedged in forklift. So they work out all right. Um, same again on the back when the spring's popped out because I'm always off roading, keeps popping out. Series rear cross member. Um, the rear axle, that's off uh, an ex military, it's the reinforced one with the big Rover 110 diff in it. Um, so basically, you've got all this reinforcement on it, which isn't standard. And then it's got actually got an ARB, a Rover, big ARB like out of a rear 110. Um, so that works well, the ARB. The front one, it's actually off the Disco, a 300 TDI casing which i've reinforced so basically i've just put like them reinforcing plates in welded them in but what i've done is i've got another arb off a rear 110 locker so it's the big rover diff again and i've actually made the circle bigger so i've welded up all the holes and then cut it back out and re-drilled them so i can fit the big rover diff in the 300 tdi front axle casing so it's like a, a bit shorter than standard so i made a longer prop shaft for it i'll just show you the front of it but it's reinforced as well because they are a bit of a weak point on these the 300 tdi ones so yeah, like i said i've just reinforced it here welded the bigger diff pan on it as well off a rear rover so it's quite a strong front diff that now uh it's a bit rough a bit rusty in that but that's just how it is isn't it it gets used and abused so that works quite well um like i say it's got uh lockers in it so i made my own pump years ago <laughs> there it is it's just an old tire pump and basically it was an old knackered one the actual comrod in it had snapped so I, I just welded it up and got it working again and this is just a bit of scaff bar and i've welded some end plates on it and put all the valves on and that for front and rear lockers i've got output there for what needs to pump your tires up uh tank there because you know on the 90s they always get smashed and knackered don't they so yeah that's all right the tank there Holds quite a bit, it's not too bad. Um, let's have a look inside. Got a cage on it, didn't have a cage on it for a few years, so I thought I'd better put a cage on it. 
so it wasn't notched out or anything I had to notch it all out myself and that so I chuck that on that goes there uh, I don't know if you'd be able to see it underneath there straight on the outriggers so I've welded tubes on the outriggers I don't know if uh, that's focusing in or not so straight through the wings um, on these bits where people just normally bolt it straight to just like the tub that's no good got a bullet to the chassis somehow so inside i'll just move this out i'll have this undone so you can see it i've just done like another section inside there bolted to it and then that bolts to the bottom of the tub and then underneath we've got another section again which is made up and that goes on top of the chassis so it's quite quite strong bit of angle there on top of the chassis so that's quite strong there and then on the back end you see there I've done it again like so it bolts on the tub there I've just done some more brackets bit of tubing again that bolts to the bottom of the tub and then going underneath you got another section there again that's quite normal that though normal setup which they have that goes on the rear cross member so yeah nice and simple but it's strong so does the trick so i need to bolt this back in so yeah inside nice and simple just a couple of bucket seats um standard 300 tdi dash even got a system in it even got a base bin in it as well <laughs> so, and it, yeah it's just rough and ready really and steering wheel it's an old mg metro one retro yeah so yeah that's it really just thought i'd do a bit of a walk around of it like i said i'll bang some photos on from when i was building it if i can find him
with the injector pump all I've done is I've done the usual diaphragm trick where they rotate it usually about a quarter of a turn but just so it gets the optimal angle on the boost pin the pin which goes in the co-centric pin so it makes the the fuel pin move the most travel in and out so I've done that and then also you get the for the low revs you can pop this cap off and you can adjust that uh, just as the diaphragm slightly so I've adjusted that uh, I think it's about two turns and then if you pop the diaphragm off there's a little plastic collar and you can shave a couple of mil off that that uh, modifies the mid-range um, and then you adjust it's called the star gear it's just a little like ratchet wheel which you adjust and what I do is as I'm just resting the diaphragm on top without the bolts in I adjust that so with just the weight of it it's just got seven mil gap in between the top of it and the actual body of it um, and then put it all back together and also there's this smoke the, the fuel screw on the back which you shouldn't really touch um, as like a security seal on it I've just popped that off and I've only wound it in a half a turn you shouldn't really mess with it but because if you do it too much you can get diesel run on and then they're just you know you won't be able to stall the engine or stop it and you can blow your engine up but I, I might do a video on how to do the pumps uh, take one off and modify it on the bench so might do a video at a later date on that so I've just done that on the pump for the fueling and then like I say just the turbo it's just a standard turbo I've just wound that up a little bit on the actuator rod and that's it it's just standard engine you know but they, they go quite well once you've done the pump and the turbo mods you know they're not too bad you've got the snorkel on it as well because you can't go underwater without a snorkel just uh, an old thing off one of the old snatches simple little dirty K and N on the top of it but yeah it's been known to be underwater this up to about there <laughs> still goes all right though underwater and the, sh the chassis is galvanized uh, the axle casings are galvanized um, the bulkheads galvanized as well and so is the cage the cage is galvanized and powder coated so yeah uh, less chance of it rotting away really the gearbox is still actually the Disco 300 TDI gearbox, but the gear change have changed it. Uh, I've just put the top selector mechanism off a Defender on top of it, but to do that, you've got to extend the selector shaft. So I just uh, spun up a piece on the lathe with a little Allen bolt in it just to extend it. So then you can put the Defender a top selector mechanism on a disco gearbox so that that works all right it's not too bad so yeah that's it really so yeah that's it for this one just a little walk around in my off-roader uh just a little filling video for you so yeah thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one